it's time for the franchise. What is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man, today is packed out. Starting with the fact that the Yeezy raffles open today. There's only three stores in my state that are doing them, so I'm gonna go to all three stores, two different malls, put my tickets in, man. My dude Yeo's gonna come pick me up. We're gonna discuss some business. We're gonna go hit the Yeezy raffles. Yeo is my guy. You guys are gonna get to meet him. Him and I have a lot of big moves in the works, and so that's what we're gonna discuss today. We're gonna go do these raffles, discuss some business. I don't wanna let the cat out of the bag just yet, but just know we have a lot of stuff coming, man. A lot of visions, visions for my future, visions for where we wanna take the channel, take the brand, all that stuff it's gonna be really really cool just know stuff is coming man stuff is working this isn't it like it's not just me doing a vlog and being the most underrated sneaker channel it's gonna be much bigger than that and it's all coming it's all in the works so if you're subscribed now stay tuned I definitely want to do something special for the people that have been rocking with me before the channel got big I mean the channel's not even big right now but I'm just saying for the people that are here now and the people that have been loyal and the people that are on board I want to do something special for you guys so that's also in the works Yayo owns a few different businesses here in Denver number one being certified customs they do tattoo they do piercing they sell gear they do all kinds of different stuff and he's really branching that out like I said there's just a lot of stuff coming that I'm gonna be involved with him and I are gonna be working very very close together so you're gonna be seeing a lot of him in the future but as far as today goes Yeezy raffles I gotta get new sunglasses I broke my sunglasses the other day a lot of you guys have been asking me hey where'd you get those sunglasses you always wear where'd you get those glasses they were like $15 cheap van sunglasses I'm not good with sunglasses I lose them I break them that pair I might be more hurt than any pair I've lost before because yeah they were $15 but I can't find them again and I loved that pair of glasses I just love the two-tone with the white and the black I don't know they just fit my face good and some of you might just throw on whatever sunglasses and wear whatever some of you might feel the struggle you lose a pair of glasses and you're like damn it just takes a long time to find another pair that you like as much as that pair so while we're out at the malls today I'm gonna try to find another pair of sunglasses until then I gotta resort to where are they at oh I mean, I got these two options. These are the options I found in my room, which is not good. Uh, number one, these joints. I don't even know. I've had these for a hot minute, and these are just a... <laughs> I can't even take myself serious in these. Like, I can't even wear these. These are not city glasses. These are like vacation glasses. These are like when I was in Vegas at the Lazy River. Like, you can get away with that there. You're on vacation. You're floating around. You're doing whatever. You can't just wear these out all day, every day, like normal. Those are probably not going to be what I'm going to rock today. These, actually, my girl Jess left these in my car, like, last fall. And, uh... I haven't seen her again to get them, give them back. So I think these are unisex. These might be girls, actually. I don't even know. But these ones aren't bad. I'll be able to rock these today and just get away with it until I get a new pair. To be honest, these kind of look like some Alan from the Hangover joints. You know, Alan, the dude with the baby, the beard. You're the man, Alan. You are too, Phil. Thanks. How's my hair? Does it look cool like Phil's? You know, Alan. That's Alan. These are Alan. These are Alan from the Hangover. But it's cool. These are gonna get me by for today, and then we're gonna find some new sunglasses. That's on the list to get done as well. We're also gonna take some shoes to the mall to drop off and sell. I have like four or five checks at Notorious that I was supposed to pick up before I went to Vegas. I just have not had time to get over there. So I'm gonna go pick up those checks today as well, get some money, drop off four or five more pairs of shoes to sell. And then after I get back from that, I'm going to the Rockies game tonight with my Uncle Roselli. I may take the camera. I may not to that. I'm not sure. Then I'll come home and do the review of some sneakers for you guys. I put out on Twitter asking what shoes you guys wanted to see. There was three options. We got the Tech Rust bronze boost joints. We got the Wish Sneaker Boy Pure Boost. And then we got the White Parlay 3.0 Ultra Boost. So those are the three options that we can review. I'm going to go through the tweets before I do the review and we'll review whatever sneaker you guys wanted to see. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at OMG. It's TTF. That way you can reach out to me. We can communicate. I know I always get back to you guys in the comments, but Twitter, you get a little bit quicker response most of the time. Plus you can be involved in stuff like this. So make sure you Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I think that's about everything we have going on today, so let's get it popping, man. It's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep. Got too much on my mind and not enough time up in the damn week. And plus, my plans keep me tossing in bed. I lie awake, cause soon body starts in my head. So I'm trying to figure out where am I headed from here. Promise moms I'll be on before the end of the year. And I'll make sure to keep my words. Every day I'm seeing and heard. Pushing seeds from the city to the verbs. It's 5 a.m. Ain't no point in lying in there while I'm wide awake. So I get to it making music like my pride's at stake. And if I decide to take a day to chill, I may be killed. The buzz that we've been building up and have no way to pay my bills. So I'm like, fuck it, focus, figure a game plan Without a budget, hope it slip 
sipping with the great. What is this? Was some Jimmy Buffett in here? This is fire. I know that's why this is dope because we're in the sick ass whip, murdered out yeah, red on the inside, and then we got some Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville play. <laughs> Damn, that shit's all digital. That a uh, uh, speedometer and shit. <laughs> you do that and it just turns up the volume? <laughs> Shut the f- If you answer the phone, you just go like that. Damn. This shit is fire, dude. What'd you do with your old whip? Trade it in? Yeah, I still got it. Still got it? Holy. I just talked to uh, Teddy this morning on Twitter. He lives six blocks over here. He just moved into Tenth of Spear right there, dude. Yeah. I was like, oh, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Right down the block. He's like, yeah, man, we need to find me if we link up. And I was gonna try to get some new glasses too, but I can't find the ones I had. They were just some simple vans that were dope to me. Good ones though. Yeah, I hate those $15, but now I can't find them again. Shit, I feel hella like self-conscious when I wear them. I don't know why. I have no clue. You don't gotta be fat Lee with the know, crazy yeah. stunner shades. That's <laughs> the only kind of shit I'm like attracted to. Uh, you gotta have the Gucci wrap sunglasses. Yeah, well, just get some of these. Man, I, I don't know. It's, it's like the actual sunglasses. It's not the shape or style and shit. I feel like my face is a little crooked. It feels uncomfortable. I think it's they way. They always look a little tilted and shit. They got the fucking Yeezys dropping in here somewhere? Yeah, finish line. They're doing a raffle at finish line. Then they're doing a raffle at foot action and finish line in the Aurora Mall. A lot of uh, all those dudes that were reselling, I know. shit's gonna be hurt right now. All those paid fifteen hundred for the pair would be oh, hurt. Man. Too much thinking is consuming me to close my eyes for half a day and missing opportunity. Leave no room for scrutiny. Always put out something great. Make sure that we prove that we the illest in this fucking city. Pack shows to capacity. Passing out our last CD. Constantly we network till my neck hurts and my back is weak. Still I have to go attack the streets to keep them watching us. One raffle down, three more to go. Only motivation left to feel yeah. until we get it popping and we autograph that rap AM and I can't sleep. Got too much on my mind and not enough time up in the damn week. And my plans keep me tossing in bed. I like awake, just consumed by these thoughts in my head. So I'm trying to figure out where am I headed from here. Promise moms I'll be on before the end of the year. And I'll make sure to keep my word. Every day I'm seen and heard. Pushing CDs from the city to the burbs. It's 5-8. Here, I don't want to kick the door closed like I would treat my car. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah. Just being ridiculous, bro. I'm trying to do camera, man. Oh, you're <laughs> trying to get the shot. I'm supposed to do a bunch of extra shit. <laughs> getting low and shit. <laughs> like your little John? Just getting low. Sorry, thanks. Thanks. It's really nice of you. Thank you. Frio. Frio. Two of them. What's up, bud? Pretty good. How about you? Finally came to pick up those checks after forever. I know you guys have called me a bunch of times. I'm my bad, dude. I write them up, I'm up. I hate that cup of coffee calling me. From the bedroom, so head to the kitchen for some fresh fruit. Show up in my system. Yes, I roll a bit, smoke, let it revoke a little wisdom. And think about these dollars and all of the ways to get some. Sit on my computer, check texts, emails, and send some. Listen through about a hundred thousand beats of this. Steady making moves, make sure I'm cool in the rent. What up, man? Chilling, dude. Just trying to get this raffle. Yeah, yeah, yo. You trying to get one? Dang, fool, what is this? Did you get one of these? Did you cop one of these? Did you cop one of those? Let it fly. What is this? This is too Pablo for me, dude. It's like a, it's like a sweatshirt hoodie with some Native American. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My plans to see this brand grow. Get a perfect picture of my vision on my Vincent Van Gogh. Johnny Mission ain't no different. Make sure that the fans know. The views is lit so you can sit back and just watch the fan blow. Oh, what up, guys? How you doing, man? I love this shoe, dude. I just... I love this shoe, man. I've probably worn these four out of the last seven, maybe five out of the last seven days. I just love this shoe, man. Yeah, it's a great shoe. I asked him if you could give me a pair of I couldn't even get a pair and Dallas knew that dude and I went in there later on and he was like oh, I can't they come out the 28th I can't sell them to you and I don't want to blow up Dallas's spot and be like fool you just sold two pairs like what do you mean you can't sell them to me whatever because I still got the pair for the channel but honestly after getting them those multicolor they're cool they're just cool though two hundred dollars a little much Maybe. yeah like I said they're just cool it's not like a must-have everyone's saying they're must-have I don't think they're must-have they're not a must-have they'd just be a nice for me it'd just be a nice daily worksheet here's who it's a must-have for the people that weren't able to get Chinese New Year that's why it's a must have for them. I mean, 180 would have been fine, you know? Went from paying to perform, now they pay to wear my shirts. They got a long way to go, and I know that's why it's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep. Got too much on my mind, and not enough time up in the damn week. Plus, my plans keep me tossing in bed. I lie awake. 
And somebody's thoughts in my head And so I'm trying to figure out where I'm headed from here Promise moms I'll be on by the end of the year And I'll make sure to keep my word so every day I'm seen and heard Pushing CDs from the city to the birds It's 5 a.m. I saw a couple pairs I liked in there, but I just want to go I just want to explore all my options This is why shopping takes me forever, I'm so indecisive And I want to see everything first before I make a decision I didn't have shit either, I knew this sunglass thing was going to be a nightmare Yo, you really think this gonna work or not? It has to, bruh. What other choice we got? Plus, we dope as hell, nigga, so why not? We deserve to get this cake. Learn how to flip it like I hop. See, I've been digging in my yeah. plot. It's filled yeah. of a million I pops. Yeah. All the men, the women, the children are finally giving me my props. And why stop? I hit it at the top. Tell them to get out of my spot. Got me ready to hit the block. Now look at the clock. All right, man, so I copped two pairs of sunglasses. They had a deal. Two for third. Two for... I don't, even, I don't even know what the hell I just paid. Two for something. So I got two pairs. One of them's more like a vacation glasses. They're dope, but I don't know if I'd ever wear them in the city. The other one's more of like an everyday type of glasses. I mean, I'm still salty that I broke the other ones, but. All right, guys, we're back. Couple things before we get into the sneaker review. Number one, the linen khakis. Man, it started out crazy with everyone saying, don't ruin the shoe. The shoe is dope. Leave the stripes on, leave the stripes on. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna leave the stripes on. Then like the past, 18 hours people have been coming in heavy saying stripes off take the stripes off i want to see them with the stripes off it's about 50 50 right now so i'm gonna let it be for a couple more days i'm gonna tally it up and then we'll decide if we're gonna take the stripes off of these or we're gonna leave them on like i said i really like them with the stripes on i don't really think there's a need to take the stripes off like with the other pair they just look 10 times better with the stripes off in my opinion but i said i would do it if we got more requests for it so we'll wait a few more days and we'll make that determination based off the youtube comments at that time number two the spinning of the shoes man i've been getting a ton of requests asking for a tutorial on how to spin the shoes there's no tutorial there's nothing i can help you with it's just something i've been doing since i was a kid i've been spinning everything spinning my phone spinning my dishes spinning my shoes spinning my action figures my toys i'll be grounded when i was a young kid and i'll be sitting in my room with nothing to do and i'll just be spinning shit so i just i don't know it's nothing i can really give you a tutorial like oh you put your fingers here it just kind of is what it is man i don't really i don't really know i know that's not much help when i started spinning the shoes it's not even something i thought about it's just something I started doing and then people liked it so I kept doing it and now it's kind of my signature my trademark because nobody else is doing that shit well not that I've seen anyway I'm sure there are a bunch of people that can do it it's really not that difficult uh, it's just practice that's all I can really say that's the tutorial it's just practice it's just practice the shoe does not leave my hand. A lot of people are throwing the shoe like that. It's not a throw, it's a spin. It doesn't leave your hand. It just kind of rotates on the hand man. Bang. I just gave you like five spins right there. I don't know what else, <laughs> maybe you could slow mo it. I really don't know what else to say about the spinning of the shoes. Just practice and you get it. If you guys would like, man, please tweet me or Instagram me a video of you spinning the shoe. If you got it down or even if maybe you don't got it down, it's funny because I'll get Snapchats randomly from time to time with people in the room like, yeah, I got it, and smacking themselves in the face and shit. And it's actually funny as hell. But don't send them to me on Snapchat because I can't save them. If you start sending them to me on Twitter, Instagram, I can save the video and then maybe we'll start using them in the vlogs or whatever because it is kind of funny when people get bodied by their shoe trying to spin the shoe so send those videos to me on Twitter or Instagram we'll see if we can feature you on the vlog man all right that's enough about spinning the shoes let's get into the sneaker review and as you probably already saw by the title man these are the joints that were voted on on Twitter these are what more people wanted to see it was very close the wish and the sneaker boys it was close but these ultimately won out. And if you guys do follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you saw I wore these at the Rockies game. You saw I wore these to work the other day. And I'm gonna be as real as I can with you right now between these and the blue parlays. Those are my two favorite Ultra Boosts right now. My two new favorite Ultra Boosts for the summer. Those are my two favorite summer pairs of Ultra Boosts right now, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this shoe. There's the box label right there. It said 200 on here, but I, for some reason, I thought I paid 180. Maybe I did pay 200, and then I looked on StockX. You know when you look at the shoe on StockX and you scroll down, it'll show you original retail price? It says 180 on StockX too, but maybe I'm tripping and I couldn't find my receipt for these, so I don't really know if I paid 180 or 200. I probably did pay 200, but I don't know why StockX has it listed incorrect as well. That kind of tripped me out, but let me break down this heat for y'all, man. Bang. There they are, the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 Tech Rust or Bronze Boost. Some people are calling them some different things. They got them listed on StockX as Tech Rust, which they might even have the right retail price listed, so take that for what you will. Some people just call them the Rust. Some people calling them Rusty. I'm calling them that young Rusty Wallace, man, the number two car. If you guys don't know NASCAR, you don't know about Rusty Wallace, but anyway, this shoe is so fire. It looks good with jeans, joggers, shorts. I rocked it with shorts last night at the game, and these are so dope. A ton of people slept on these. A ton of people passed on these. Um, I did talk to a few people on social media, and they were like, yeah, initially I passed on them for pictures, but then I saw them in a store 
Thor in hand and instantly copped. I don't know how they look on video. I know in pictures they're like, yeah, they're cool, but in hand, they're so fire. To start out, you get your 3.0 prime knit pattern. It looks like it's like the same as the core black. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same as the core black. I don't own the core black, but I know it's definitely darker than this pair right here. So that's kind of the difference there. Moving up to the laces, you've got uh, just some standard 3.0 laces, nothing much different from your normal 3.0s. The same as the same as like your Oreos or your Energy Reds, the same kind of uh, laces, like the same exact material, same pattern, just different color. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of these laces just because they're kind of stiff and they just take a long time to like break in and wear in. When they come out the box, if they had any folds or creases in them, they just take a long time to like wear those creases out. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but that's my only real complaint with the laces on uh, some of the 3.0s. Like the Parlay laces are super thin, so they wear in nicely. They're like a more of a regular flat lace. I don't know if it's the pattern or whatever, but these are just stiffer so as they're stiffer they just they sit out a little bit more they, they take a longer time to kind of break in sticking on the laces for a second another thing i've noticed about the laces on the 3.0s lately i thought it was just the parlays i think i said in the parlay video you guys know how i always double up through the top right there to make the laces short enough to where I can rock them without tying them. I didn't have to do that on the parlays. The laces were noticeably shorter on the parlay. And then as I started lacing these up, I was like, oh man, I might be able to do something similar. And so I just have the cages pulled a little wider. I just have them loose. And I didn't even have to go through the top two times. I just laced them up regular and went through the top one time. I have not pulled the laces out and compared them to some of the other early pairs of 3.0s. I'll go ahead and do that when I get time and I'll update that on the next video for you guys. But it seems like these um, laces are a little bit shorter than the other ones. If they did in fact change the length of the laces i wouldn't be surprised because i've noticed a big difference in fit of the new ultra boost 3.0s lately now as i said in the multicolor vid those were tighter noticeably more snug i would recommend going a half size up in multicolors if you buy those on the 28th the parlays definitely recommend going a half size up these are noticeably more snug than my energy red 3.0s my oreo 3.0s my black and silver 3.0s these are definitely more snug now not snug enough to where i would say you have to go half size up but the reason i tell you guys this is i know a lot of people go a half size down in their 3.0s because they were running so baggy and so big not anymore this is a legit true to size it is snug too i mean it's not snug to where i would go 12 and a half but this is a real deal true to size snug 12. i think the multicolor fits almost like a 1.0 or a 2.0 where you probably want to go half size up with these it's just legit true to size again i know it's frustrating because adidas is all over the map with their sizing and that's why i wanted to wear this pair before i reviewed them so i did wear them to work i did wear them to the Rockies game. I got a really good feel and fit out of them. And I think true to size is perfect. These are a 12. I wouldn't go any other way. I left the insole in. Everything's just perfect the way it is. Size 12. I do have the cage pretty loose. If you are someone that wants to rock the cage really tight, these might be too tight on you and you might want to size up a little bit, but I rock the cage loose and these are perfect. Getting back to the rest of the laces, you have the bronze lace tips to finish them off there. Perfect touch, just brilliant just sets the shoe off, matches the shoe perfectly. On the top of the tongue, you've got the Adidas logo. It's the same on both pairs. Both are reflective. Moving down to the cage, leather cage on this pair. Super nice, super soft, super flexible. As you know, I'm a big fan of the leather cages. I just think they give a really clean look. Moving around to the back, man, the heel cup. You've been seeing this more and more on a lot of the pairs. It's that 3D printed heel cup that Adidas is doing. They're getting more and more into the technology with the 3D printing stuff. Heel cup on here, 3D printed. Oh, no. What do you know? Hello? Hi, is that Thomas available? Yes, him. This is Jared with the uh, finish line Cherry Creek Cone. In regards to the Yeezy. Told you to take it for a size 12, but... Oh, wow. Congrats. Dope, you, thank uh, you. Do you want that pair? Yeah, heck yeah. So pickup time is Saturday. Well, your ticket stub, your ID, and of course that payment. Perfect, man. I'll be All there. Right. Right. You're Thanks. Go ahead. Bye. What do y'all know, man? Your boy just... Your boy just hit the Yeezy Zebra raffle? Let's go. I don't even know if I can finish the review. I might not. I just walk out, man. I'm so excited. Woo! All right, my bad. I just got really excited for a minute there. That was unexpected, crazy. I think that might be the first raffle I've ever won at a store. I'm trying to think back. I can't even think right now. I'm kind of, I need to take a couple deep breaths right now, man. That was, uh, that was surreal. I don't really know how you get back into the review after that, but we're going to try. What was I even talking about, man? 3D printed heel cup, ultra boo. <laughs>
<laughs> you got the 3D printed heel cup, man. Ultra Boost logo blacked out there. You know I'm a sucker for that. I love when they do that. That just looks super clean. The black on black. And this is black, but it's not like really black. It's kind of like a grayish black because it's 3D printed. That makes it look even sicker with this. Moving down to the midsole, of course, Boost dyed bronze, which really sets the shoe off. And they went same with the torsion, man. Just matching. Always love when they do that. In person, the bronze is, has like a little sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera, but also um, it almost looks rose gold. And especially on the outsole, you've got the black torsion, but you've got the bronze hits on there, and it really looks rose gold on the bottom. Super dope. Black outsole, Continental logo, Adidas logo. Moving inside the shoe, Ultra Boost insole. It's just a regular basic insole, no leather insole or anything on this one, just your standard black insole, which is cool. And actually, I'll show you guys this. Maybe some of you guys have never seen. So when they dye the boost, a lot of people are like, oh, they must dye the boost all the way through. They don't. It's still white on the bottom, and you can actually see like bronze paint residue within the white on the inside of the shoe. So it's definitely painted, but that is about it on this pair, man. Not a ton of difference. Like I said, really, really true to size on these. Maybe some shorter laces. I'm gonna have to update you on that once I check them with some of my other pairs, but stupid fire pair on these. If you could pick up a pair of these, I saw these restock a couple times last week. They may restock a few more times. I would not sleep on this pair, just especially because they don't require any maintenance. You're not gonna get this shoe dirty. I wore these to work. I wore these at the Rockies game, did a ton of walking and they still look brand new, man. I haven't washed them. I haven't touched them up or anything. So if you don't own any Ultra Boost and you're looking to get your first pair and you're not gonna get a bunch of pairs and you don't got a rotation, this is a pair I would highly recommend as a daily driver. These will last a long time. They're gonna look good for a long time. They don't require a lot of maintenance or a lot of cleaning. Highly recommended with this pair. If y'all are sleeping on these, man, I don't even know what to say. Great for summer, great for winter, great with jeans, shorts, joggers, any outfit. These are just flames. I would get these over the multicolors any day and twice on Sunday, man. Let me know if you guys have any other questions on these. Leave them in the comments below. I'll always get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, that's about it. We got Yeezys on Saturday, man. We got guaranteed pair of Yeezys on Saturday man you guys just saw it live in the flesh son as always thanks for supporting your boy thanks for clicking the like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel man what are you waiting for subscribe to the channel already please i know a ton of you fools just watch the video man just click the subscribe button help your boy out help your boy get up there get me on some charts push me out there to some more people so we can try to grow this thing a little bit more huh nah but thank you to everybody that is subscribed man i love the shit out of y'all and i will see you fools tomorrow it's 5 a.m and i can't sleep Got too much on my mind, and not enough time up in the damn week and Plus my plans keep me tossing in bed, I lie awake, cause soon body starts in my head So I'm trying to figure out where am I headed from here Promise moms I'll be on before the end of the year And I'll make sure to keep my words, every day I'm seeing and heard Pushing CDs from the city to the verbs, it's 5 a.m. Ain't no point in lying in there while I'm wide awake So I get to it, making music like my pride's at stake And if I decide to take a day to chill, I may be kill The buzz that we've been building up and have no way to pay my bills so I'm like, fuck it, focus, figure a game plan Without a budget, hope it's slipping with the grains of sand Too much thinking is consuming me To close my eyes for half a day and miss an opportunity Leave no room for scrutiny, always put out something great Make sure that we prove that we the illest in this fucking state Pack shows to capacity, passing out our last CD Constantly we network till my neck hurts and my back is weak Still I have to go attack the streets to keep them watching us Prevent haters from throwing shade at us, talking tough Only motivation left to